preschool. Of course I want it. But we have to make up our mind, do, are we serious about it? Will we, put that, will we put that kind of money there? I mean, you can't do things like give four million bucks to a $9 billion football industry and not give any money to children. You know, I'm not going to, uh, that, that's the kind of decision we got to make. I mean, uh, right now you've got this, this spectacle of, of, of these multimillionaires and billionaires out there arguing about how they're going to divide it up. And then they come and ask us to bribe them with $4 million to have a, a scrimmage out here in, in paradise, uh, that kind of thing. You've got to get our, our values straight and our priorities straight. The, the level below, below that, preschool, I mean, you, you, you're saying you do We've got to make up our mind on, uh, on the revenues. So, so every child That's my goal. five years or ten years should be able to have access sure to Sure they should. Of course, that's what we want to go to. We, the money isn't there right now. Look what we're having to do. As I say, the learning centers are, and adult education are on the, on the, on the block right now. Uh, and, and, and I say on the block. It doesn't mean necessarily they're going to be eliminated. There's, we're going to have to make adjustments and see how we're going to do that in order to accommodate the budget. You can't, you can't paper over a budget and pretend that you're balancing it or, that you, or pretend that you've got uh, sufficient revenues. Uh, and, a and actually do it when it comes to the expenditures that are necessary to make the programs work for the people. You know, Doug, you just mentioned, I, I'm assuming you were talking about the Pro Bowl and, and after Yeah, after, sure. Know, I just cite that as an example. And all that sort of stuff. There was also a lot of talk about taking more money out of the tourism marketing side and getting it spread around. We need, to, we need to spend it smarter. Okay. We need to spend money smarter. So That's you, all. Do you see money coming, for example, from... Something million dollars in TV ad. Well, the, the, well, not the TV, but the, the Hawaii Tourism Authority is re-examining re how it's spending money. It's got a cap now. The legislature has put a cap on it. I believe it's $69 million. Now, that $69 million didn't exist back when, we, when I was first on the Tourism Committee in the legislature. We didn't have a hotel room tax. And the same people that are complaining about, uh, oh, my God, uh, uh, the, 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 there's a tax, they were against the tax then. And now they're, they, they, they're, they're the ones who want to spend it. So uh, it, the, the, the question here is how you spend your money, where you spend your money, whether you do it smart. I'm trying to clarify <laughs> your, your, your comment because, it, you know, they talk about the return on investment. If we put out $4 million, we're going to get $20-some million. Oh, please. Something. You know, we'll get more out of civil unions in a, in, a, in a weekend than we'll get out of those guys. And, you know, <laughs> please. Oh, you want to market? We're going to market. Don't worry about marketing. Um, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, people who want to, um, if they want to come here and play, fine. If they, if you, you think you can tell the Pro Bowl people, and I, guess what, kids, we're going back to or Orlando or wherever they're going. You know, good luck. I'm not. Uh, I'll let the multimillionaires worry about themselves. <laughs>